There's a lot of criticisms you can make about my channel. Art isn't good. Videos are too short. Videos are too long. I'm not loud enough. Or shall I say my mic's not loud enough? My mic's not good enough. I should not be recording more than just one series. I'm uploading too often. Uploading too not often enough. There's a lot you can say about my channel. But one thing that nobody can criticize about is that it's boring, or it's history is boring, and not cringe. You see, I have over a thousand videos, and throughout the time of me doing YouTube, I've done it much less recently, although I've been reacting to some of my first videos. And... Also, I've kept them around the entire time for a very good reason. I, I know a lot of people as well. They just deleted their own videos because they thought it was cringe. Me? No. Mm-mm. I kept them. Part of it was because I had way too many that wouldn't really be practical. And also part of it is for some good content for reacting to. And that is the perfect way to explain this new series, Cringe Binging. And yes, I'll be binging on cringe. <laughs> I've got some drinks here because I'm too poor to afford some food. So yeah, I have to rely on some iced tea, water, and McDonald's frozen Coke. Yep, it was a mistake going to Pennsylvania. They don't have Slurpees here. Just so sad. So sad. <laughs> and you know what? I'm probably going to gain some weight from just from the series, but... Here I go. <laughs> Hopefully the bow brain cells I lose from this series counteracts with the amount of fat I gain from binging on all of these videos. That's my hope. It creates a, a solid, stable equilibrium between weight gain and weight loss. So anyways, let's get started with the first episode. These episodes will probably be pretty long as well. So yeah. Now, this video I'm going to show you, it's down here a bit. Wait, was it a stream? Oh yeah, it was a stream. Right. Um, anyways, yeah, the stream I'm about to show you... Oh, oh my gosh, these thumbnails. These thumbnails. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The stream I'm about to show you, I've shown to a couple other people. And... Yeah... So, you've probably seen it already, but I figured, I even shared it on this channel once, although I figured I'm going to rewatch it again, because it's, since I've shared it a lot, it would be the perfect video to start the series. Anyways, it's this I'm talking about. Draw My Life Live. Immediately, it's quite interesting. I forgot that I had my loading screen as this before so it might be hard to see although back in the good old days in like 2016 2017 legendaries used to be extremely rare in clash royale so i got a screenshot of me getting my first legendary it's behind of the pokemon go um you know tab although yeah it's right there along with a lot of musketeers and although the old logos for each of supercell games right there is really nostalgic not gonna lie all right, what is it gonna bring? Okay, it should be live. Um. Oh. Yeah, no, I remember that voice. I do. <laughs> this is back when. When was this? I actually forgot. July twenty second, twenty eighteen. So this was when I was thirteen and a half years old. So I'm gonna. Is tier one to start? I know there's a lot of readjusting and that sort of stuff in the beginning. Oh, yeah. On okay, here. Board? Yeah. Oh. 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 Still do it. Still do it. Yeah, no, this is... Hey, all right. A sick camera angle, by the way. Sick camera angle. So comment down below on live chat if you can hear me. 
So, um, okay. let's start then. Yeah. So first, um, the camera angle again. So even better this time. I was born on December fifteenth, two thousand four. I was blessed with great parents. Blessed, yes. Let's draw my mom here. I probably didn't even know what that meant at the time. My dad here, yeah. I don't really have the time to draw people. But someone who was not so pleasing was my brother. So let's draw him. I mean, he was, um, he, I guess he's not the worst brother. I've um, okay. Okay, okay. Hold up. Did I just say back then, five years ago, that he's not the worst brother possible? Um, okay, there's definitely some things to catch up on regarding that, and some sensitive stuff, but, yeah, no, he's an absolutely horrible douchebag of a person. <laughs> My parents are amazing people, though. I've seen, there have been worse brothers than him, but, you know, you know what I mean, right? Um. No, I don't. Let's see if I can hear me. Alright, I can. Alright, so I'm just gonna wear this headset, like... Like, all the time, I don't know. Okay, take it off, um... Alright, you can hear me, uh, that's good. Um... Yeah, so I was born with parents. You know, I was born also with a brother. Yeah, you know, all that stuff. Um, I was... When I was a few months old, I was with an a pair. Yep. All these pairs I have were females, and yeah. So, yeah, the pair was named Chris, and she, we kept in touch with her for a real long time, including today. She now has a baby named Thiago. So, interesting fact, we're still in touch with her and her child. He's now in kindergarten. And if you are guessing, yeah, she's Peruvian, so... How the hell am I supposed to know? <laughs> I was taking Spanish at this time as well, so it's not like that's an excuse. Like, uh, like if that name, you know, if someone, since they were Peruvian, you know, someone that's from, I don't know, Argentina could have a name that, or heck, Spain, Mexico, like, Cuba, like, <laughs> I mean, it's like, I mean, I know, there's, I know there's some region-specific names, although a lot of names I feel like, especially, like, are equal, especially ones which have the same language, are very similar between countries, especially ones which speak the same language. So, yeah, no way I can tell there. Yeah. She, um, she's, you know, we're still in touch with her, um, no, I actually heard that my brother was, like, putting potatoes on the couch. Oh, yeah, though, yeah. I, I, I don't know, I'm not going to draw that, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. But, I, I forgot about that before watching this, to be honest. Like, yeah, um, yeah. My my mom told me about that, if you're wondering. There's no way in hell I would have mem remembered that. It's like, what's a year old? Okay. Uh... Hmm. So, when I was three, I remember my first thought that I remember now. It was a strange dream, which had this business, right? It was this, like, dream I had for a real long time. There were these balloons. Yeah, this is actually interesting. I don't think, like, 99% of people have this sort of thing. I think it's an autism thing, although, yeah... I had this, like, one dream, which I kept on elaborating and elaborating and elaborating on for, like, the first couple of years that I remember. I think it eventually ended when I was, like, five or six, but still, it was weird. Flying all everywhere. It was like I had no other dream. Dreams, you know, just that. Here's me. And a whole bunch of my fake friends. Quote, fake, if you know what I mean, you know. Um... Can't see it. Can't see it. Yeah. Anyway. That's... They were fake because they were real. Although, in reality, I wasn't friends with them. So, yeah, that's why I call them fake. Yeah, so this needs some explaining. So, before... So, I realized this in second grade, and I realized how, like, effed up this was. And, like... 
how much of a like how upset my brain was for doing this. Although when I was young, I would just go around, you know, random guys, and it was completely looks based. By the way, no personnel, no nothing, just looks based, and be like, "You're my friend. You're my friend. You're not my friend. You're my friend. You're my best friend." Oh yeah, I did have an imagine. Although they were real people. There was no mutual connection whatsoever. Did even have an, a best friend. His name was Ethan. And I think I had him to like second half, second grade. Had him, in quotes, obviously. And when I just started realizing how stupid it was. I remember I tried to like get my mom to arrange a play date with her. His mom multiple times. He never allowed it. Yeah, no, that's wonderful days back then. Wonderful days. Anyway, let's get started with some more Evian's tech. So, when I was three, again, I got a stuffed animal. The This is the first real thought that I remembered of. Named Thomas. You know, Thomas the Choo Train? Yeah. That's what it was, Thomas the Choo Train. Anyway. I used to love Thomas. Also... Yeah, I mean, that was, I actually completely forgot about it. It's like, for a while I knew that my first memory was when I was three and a half, although I forgot what the memory was. It was that. This video made me remember it. <laughs> so, back then I was at a house, um, you know, I was at a different house than I was not in today. So, when I was four, I moved and I actually forgot to the house that. I am currently in today. So, let's draw a house. Yeah, that's super horrible, but you know. <clears throat> yeah so that's when I was four when I was five it got renovated five or six I don't remember but it got renovated and at this time fun fact I had low functioning autism so yeah I was pretty disordered um that was before that actually so yes there is some truth in that I was born with low functioning autism and it was horrible. I couldn't speak at all. Although at that time, it was kind of practically mended and more turned to high functioning. Because I still was autistic, okay? If, the reason why I was low functioning at that time was because I was mainly because I couldn't speak. Although my parents theorized it was probably something that I couldn't hear at that time until I was like... Because I didn't speak until I was like four or so. That could also explain why I have dyslexia. Not functioning, you know. Functioning. Mm -hmm. I know it's backwards, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I was born with low functioning autism. Anyway, yeah. now I have high functioning autism, but you know, I still have autism, so yeah. Okay. Yes, I do still have autism. Yes. I'll bring, I'll point it out just now. I do think differently than most people if you aren't at my school, so you know, that's kind of key. That, that is autism. true. Anyway, like, what's good, what's good, what's good, um, yeah. Oh, what what's good a hundred a thousand times? And yeah, our house got renovated, so. <laughs> Did someone just join the stream? What the, what the hell happened? Someone typed in chat? Hold on. Nope. No chat. Oh, make some just grass there. A whole bunch of debris. Yeah. Basically got torn down, most of it. And, and then got rebuilt. The room that I record YouTube videos in now, this was one of the old rooms. <clears throat> the One of the rooms that, um, you know, one of the rooms that stayed. So in the staircase, now it's vertical. I actually forgot that I used to, um, record videos inside of the study. Um, because most of the time after this... I was in my room recording it. My mom let me bring my computer up there. But it used to be curved at the top. I actually forgot about that. Kind of like this. And there's actually light bulbs to show evidence of that. Sorry, sorry. Just needed a drink. Just needed a drink. What light bulbs as well? I think I'm, I think I meant the light switches. So. Um... Hmm. So, um, when I was 
Five, I graduated off free school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that's the first Great Wolf Lodge trip I remember. Yeah, I got a lot of Great Wolf Lodge trips. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember if they were still going on at this point, but they have stopped once I was like 14 or something because it's clear I was too mentally ill at that point and I wasn't enjoying them at all. Too addicted to my phone. I want to go back to the Great Wolf Lodge though pretty soon. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm going to respond. Wait, someone someone actually texted in the chat? Hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was a friend of mine back Okay, then. back with the video. Um, anyway, so when I was six, graduated out of kindergarten. Um, pretty cool. We sang a recycle song. Uh, I have oh, vague yeah. memories of yeah. kindergarten. I was only now. Yeah. Moving on to first grade. First grade, I still have vague memories of this. Um, you know... My memories are actually clearer now than they were before if they're first grade. <laughs> hearing how I said that. Uh, what, what is it? So we were not running kindergarten, of course. So yeah, you know, like this. My letters are super big back then. Like this. I don't know. It's big and sloppy. And I was like, yeah, that's because I'm in f effing kindergarten. What do you expect? Bad cutter then. So I, I dropped gymnastics in first grade. Um... I had... Too girly. Too girly. You know, because girly sports aren't cool. Yeah. Yeah, no. No. Weak upper body strength. So let me show you this. Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very important right there, you'll hear. I had weak upper body strength in first grade. Good to know. All right. Yeah, I know. Stick arm. No, just kidding. All right. Anyway. Um, Yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. So in first grade, I yeah, I'd wake up for body strength. Um, I so was, what? you know, I was one of those weird kids. You know, yeah, I couldn't climb ropes. So you know, part of my upper body strength being weak. Wait, and, wait, yeah, I wait, 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 wait. I thought that was my phone ringing. Although, did I just say I was weird for not being able to climb a rope? <laughs> Bro, this really says a lot about how I felt at the time. Really about my mental state. I swear, at this time, it was like muscle literally meant everything. Like, if you're weak, useless. Buff as fuck, perfect. Don't give a shit if you're smart, dumb, I don't know, tall, short. You gotta have abs. And you gotta have Big ass arms. Nothing else. You know. Yeah. N nothing else to say. So you know, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, in second grade. Um. I I remember a little more about second grade. Um. So. In second grade, I created this friend in first grade named Jack. Right. Really. I completely forgot about this. To be honest. The first one I remember having was actually a girl, which is ironic, but... <laughs> this is him. He's taller than me, so yeah. Very important. And yeah, we, we basically hung out with each other until our bus was divorced. Um, divorce one <laughs> I talk about. Diverged. So because I got on the orange bus, I got on the yellow. Good old dyslexia moment right there. <laughs> Still have him a lot. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, in third grade, so in third grade, I'm probably missing a lot of things about this. At the, um, you know, I was eight turning into nine. I think eight was, it was a weird year. I was being really weird in second grade. Um, went to Grable Flodge, you know, all that sort of stuff. When I was eight, um, <clears throat> I, this was, I called it the dumb year because I felt like the dumbest kid in my class. It, this was an issue throughout most of elementary school. I don't know why I called it the dumb year instead of the depressed year. And this has also been an issue that plagued me in middle school as well. You see, I treated myself as one being in the entire class. Like everyone else in, every student else in the entire building as another being. You know, just two beings. So obviously if you compare me to every other student in the class, when it comes to intellect, they're going to be smarter. Because there's way more people. I'm 
you know, I might be smarter than individual ones, although them together, there's no way I'm smarter than all of them. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I don't know, it was weird. Another one of those weird things. In reality, if you don't know me, I have a high IQ, so I'm not dumb, but. Do I? Do I, though? You know? <laughs> yeah. But I felt like one of the dumbest kids in my class, so. <laughs> because I couldn't, um, you know, answer any questions. All... Yeah, going back to what I said, other people would answer these questions, like, perfectly. Especially if it was, like, about animals and that sort of stuff, and then I'd not know the answer at all. I was really talented in music, you know? I'm still in talented in music, but, you know. Yeah. So I... Yeah, I took a bit of a break around that time. With music. A bit unfortunate. It's like a huge two-year gap in my music creating life. I believe I still had weak upper body, um, you know, uh, that sort of stuff. And then fourth grade is when it starts getting interesting. So I started getting more friends in fourth grade. I was friends with a lot of girls. Okay, that's horrible, but whatever. Um, friends with a lot of girls. Girl. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah. So, it's friends with a lot of girls. This is. I think a lot of these. I I think this. It wasn't like I got a whole bunch of friends at which were girls at once. It was more like diluted. Like there was one she got in second grade, one she got in third, one she got in fourth, or a couple which got in fourth. You know, just added up, like that. I think. Getting guy friends was more like that because I know I had a lot more success having guy friends in fourth and fifth grade than in before years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I was eight. I completely forgot to mention this, although I was recording some videos, right? And oftentimes I had like, it was just so weird. I like would use the bathroom and not use the literally use the bathroom, but like kind of like go oh, in, God. make pee sounds and go in the bathroom, make pee sounds and know and all of that junk. Oh my God. I remember that. Okay. I wish I still had that as a recording. My parents recorded on this tripod. That would be so funny to show. So sadly, it's lost in history. Lost in time. Anyway, that was back then. Um, Now we're in fourth grade. So I had a lot of friends with the girls. Um, I was starting to get more friendly. I think I was starting to get my upper body strength. It's getting stronger. Like, okay. Yeah. I, I, I have some pretty big muscles now, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Okay. I can tell. I can tell, okay? I can tell. Okay, um, yeah, enough of that. I mean, I don't seem as strong as some people, but my, but I just seem visi visibly, you know, kind of strong, you know? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't know if it's because I'm overweight, but, you know, yeah. Anyway, continuing on. Well, I think this is a bit of fabrication right here. I... I mean, I think there's a difference between being overweight and, you know, muscular and then just being obese. So, there's actually some backstory to this that you'll hear later on. But, yeah, no, I don't think I look very strong at that point. Not at all. On, um, it's enough with that. Um, yeah. So, this is why I excel at Pacer, um. Now I don't. I suck at pizza now. But, you know, anyway, let's talk enough. Talk, I think I got enough talking about PE stats, but, you know. PE stats. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this really shows a lot about my personality back then. It was physical strength. Just that. Only thing that I care, you care about. Like, what about my math talent I had there? Oh, yeah, no, that, that doesn't exist. Yeah, no, my IQ of 130, I mean, it's... It's definitely because of my huge upper body strength that people obviously can see my ripped abs through my obese body and that sort of stuff. Now I have an IQ of 130 and not 80 or whatever the hell I'm thinking about. Yeah, no, it's not the math. It's not the perfect pitch. I'm not composing music. No, no. So in fourth grade, um, I remember I did colonial day. So my <laughs> partner was actually a friend. Oh, that's just too bad. Oh, wait. Right, yeah, my partner was actually a friend of mine. No joke. They're trying to match boy, girl, boy, girl. Although, I wait. think my partner named Caroline was my best I thought there was... Okay, here's what I remembered. I thought it was matched boy, boy, and girl, girl. 
Although I was matched with my like my best friend at that time. It was they're supposed to be um close in height though. Although it was matched with a girl, it just turned out to be like my best friend. <laughs> it's just kind of funny, I think. Best friend, back on. <laughs> yeah, no joke. All right. Anyway, so colonial day. Oh, that kind of made things even more embarrassing due to being still in elementary school. There's a hat. Hat. Ah, they look like cowboys, don't they? Yeah. Anyway, you got the point, right? People are making fun of us? Yeah. Anyway. No. Um. <clears throat> so now we're in fifth grade. Um, this is starts to get interesting. So I have a best friend named Michael. So... He was way taller than me, like a head taller than me. Uh, yeah. Revealed his. Last and he don't like, you know, make try to make snappy long nose in the world if you don't know him. But you know, yeah, that's just him. You know, people are kind of strange in ways. And I think I mentioned this in a previous video. I had a friend in fifth grade who was in kindergarten. Yeah, no joke. So here's him. And here's me. Oh, that the, that's an upside down face. Um, pardon me, that. I'm just imagining. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm just imagining me telling my former self, like, oh, you had um, a friend and it was five years younger. Oh, uh, yes. A person six years younger asked me out. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> this is. Like... And become a patrol because my brother said it sucked. I really yeah. wanted to do that nine one time. My brother said that sucked as well because he is the worst brother on planet Earth. You know? Yeah. I really wanted to do that nine, but you know, yeah, you know. Just didn't happen. You no, know, I did that. In fourth grade, I started playing Clash Clans. First grade, uh, yeah. I started playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually started playing Minecraft even I earlier. It was on PC, which just started in first grade. I've started playing, I played Minecraft on uh, Minecraft Flight for even earlier. And I think I first started playing that when I was around five five and a half so wait 13 years what i've been playing backcraft for 13 years when holy crap <laughs> i played started playing pokemon duel in front of fortnite around the same time so you know yeah yeah so um yeah you know in sixth grade this is when it starts to get interesting so in fifth grade summer yeah, no, immediately when Fortnite was starting to die, I just completely stopped playing it. Let me just get some anti current slush down. You know, I got suspended from the pool, you know, that sort of stuff. Wait, what? What? Suspended? Wait. Hold up. Hold up. I'm slowing that down. Did I hear what I just said? You know, in sixth grade, this is when it starts to get interesting. So in fifth grade summer, you know, I got suspended from the pool. What? what? How? That must have been a dyslexia moment. I don't ever remember getting suspended from the pool. You know, that sort of stuff. Because my brother sucks that he's hanging out with, you know. All that sort of stuff, you know? Wait. One more time. That... This is something where... Th I'm glad slowing down. No, I got suspended from the pool, you yeah. know? That sort of stuff. Yes. Because my stuff. brother sucks that he's hanging yeah. out with, you know? All that sort of stuff, you know? Yes. Yeah. We all know. Anyway. It's all my brother's fault. In sixth grade... I'm kidding. I, um, what was it, um, yeah, so I, I started, um, I really missed Abraham, um, I really missed Michael, you know, I really missed everyone, kind of, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. anyway, because I haven't seen, even seen any of them, <laughs> like, the only people I've seen from HB, um, my elementary school and, and um, HB is, are girls, I'm the only boy. That is true, you know, I really miss a lot of my friends from high school as well. Being a freshman in college kind of sucks. At least, at least um, there's during the winter break I can still visit back to my school and 
see them and I can also hang out with them and that sort of stuff. I've, I ended up with a lot of friends younger than me, which means they're like all still in school. And also can just see um, teachers and that sort of stuff as well. So yeah, this isn't the end of the world, although I do still miss a lot of those people. Wait, which came from my elementary school. I'm not joking. Yeah. Anyway, um, enough of that. Um, it, that depends if you could. Yeah. I mean, that, to be honest, that looks pathetic compared to what happened earlier this year with my do current dorm living situation. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, go on. Dinner me at a boy. Yeah, anyway. That kind of supposed to be a joke, you know. My brother called me a girl sometimes, but, you know, I'm not. Ah, uh, yeah. He did, oh, that's because he's an absolute dick. Yeah, no, I, that wasn't, I, I don't know, I just didn't, that actually was an insecurity of mine for a pretty long time, though. I'll just And, yeah. Down. Uh, yeah. So, he's hanging out with these thuggy friends. He hangs out with friends more thuggy and more thuggy as the year goes on. Sixth grade summer, um, this is when it starts to get spicy. Ah, uh, yes, the spice kicks in. Yeah, no, um. This is when, this is when my brother started ruining his life, though. In eighth grade, is, and it got worse and worse throughout the year. Yeah, I created my YouTube channel on July 28th, 2017. It's actually July 27th. I thought it was the 28th, but nope, I was wrong. It's the 27th. Well, I thought it was the 28th for a really long time. And my YouTube channel is doing fine right now. I mean, I got 36 subs. Cool, yeah. Cool. So... Yeah, um, 36 subs. Backwards, nice. 1,600 views. Oh, that's amazing. Hold on a minute. And quite a lot of support, so, yeah. Quite For the like, majority support. of the time, I wasn't getting enough support, and I was being complaining. But, you know, now I get a lot of support. I get a lot of comments, you know. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I don't know about that part. You audience. You really, you really, um, you, you spice it up, you know. Yeah, you really spice it up for my YouTube experience, and yeah, um, spice it up. And I have um, thirty six subs, sixteen hundred views. Um, I used to have, have you know zero subs, zero views, and like literally everyone. <laughs> I um, my first video got is one of the videos which got the most views. Yeah, that's true. Um, it actually still has a decent amount of views. I have a lot of videos which have more views than that now, although. It definitely did pretty well, though. Um, and then the views started tapering off. Oh, that looks like... That looks like the um, increasing sign. Oops. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they started tapering off. Yeah. Um. That's literally the only time I care. Yeah, until they got... About the direction. Up <laughs> to zero, 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 zero. Well, that's... Yeah, no, that was practically interest immediate. I, I was just uploading way too much at the time, which... Makes this series an absolute jewel because I can just look back at these uploads and just laugh my ass off and <laughs> like all the crazy shit I saw, said. But yeah, I did get zero views a lot. Hit that is fifteen views. But yeah, then was, there was a video that's kind of fun, spiked with around fifteen views and it was, continued to be zero. No views, no views, and no views. No, you know, the lot of no view videos. Um, anyway, I still, I a, lot of, a lot of those old videos still are, have no views on them. No video videos. And I actually made a whole video about how I got 13 sub subscribers. 13th? Yeah. Third? All right. Yeah. I, I'm... Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Wait a moment. Oh my gosh. I remember. Okay. This needs some ex explaining. So, immediately... I, when I started my channel, I got two subs, so that was because a friend of mine and my mom, it was either my mom or my brother, subscribed. And then the third subscriber was the other one subscribing to me. So, I think my brother was the third subscriber, my mom was the second. But, still, that is, especially since it's not like, it actually was someone like stranger and someone that I actually told to subscribe to me it's just stupid and that's the case with most of the subs subs at this point as well I mean, not thirsty third a third. Uh, third yeah that was in my 60th video yeah my, um sub the video 
the <laughs> ratio was pretty negative back then. Um, no, my brother stopped. It's pretty low, though. It used to be a lot lower. Posting when I started posting, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not posting as much t today because I'm not really as excited. But you know, if you keep it up with support, I'm definitely gonna post videos. So. I just said his name right. I'm a diamond kizzle and I stepped a whole bunch of things on the wall and yeah, we got in trouble. Or uh, at least diamond kizzle did. Uh, that was yeah. so random. <laughs> yeah, scrap that. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I do remember that. That was so All right, so random. Then he got the sent to a military people. academy summer school. He that was not the reason why. That's straight up not the reason why he was sent to military school. It was because he was causing just in general so much trouble in the house. It's not just that one incident. He liked it, so he spent the whole year, like that first half, but he hated that second half. And then he's now at summer school again. So in the seventh grade year, I had a great year. I had lots of friends, you know. Lots of kids saying, what's up? Gained a lot of subscribers. But not to mention, gained a lot of weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scrap that. But, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I did gain a lot of weight because of thanks to my medicine. Yeah, thanks to my medicine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This is a legitimate problem. Or was a legitimate problem. <clears throat> when I was 13, 14 years old, you actually, um, you see a lot of videos from this period. But, I was on a medicine, which made me gain a lot of weight, and completely stunted my growth. And, yeah, if you're wondering, it was around 50 pounds I gained. I went from 4'11", 120, when I was 12, to five zero one seventy when I was fourteen. Well then after that I ended up growing into my weight and now I'm look just as like I did before I gained the weight on medicine. So at least it resolved itself, although it did leave a pretty dark period. Especially since it was like I was too heavy to do normal things, like I couldn't stand up for a long time and that sort of stuff. Just left a it did live leave leave a dark period in my life though especially because it's like especially in middle school it's like everything feels so looks related related and i was obviously obsessed with that as you could tell earlier so yeah yeah anyway let's just grab that all right um yeah anyway um that's when i broke up friends with um uh the go to 87 because he's just a strange weirdo um yeah i mean he was a weird person get back although the way I reacted wasn't much better either. In fact, it was much worse. <laughs> yeah, no, I went ruthless on him the, the next couple years. It died down in ninth grade until I was like, holy shit, I fucked up there. Yeah, no, though, I was a dick back then. And yeah. I'm still friend with a, friends with one of his friends, but, you know, he's he's pretty nice. But, you know, anyway, like... Wait, who? Anyway, let's get off. I got off track, but, you know... Seventh grade had a great year, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, we had a pool party at the end of the year. It was sick. Um, and yeah. And yeah, now it's the summer. Went to a lot of summer camps. Now I'm in summer school. Um, you know, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and anyway, yeah, that's, that's it. Right at the first year that my YouTube channel has been around. And I cannot believe it has been one full year of YouTube. Yeah. I cannot believe it's been six full years of YouTube, straight up. <laughs> so, this is my stats. Let's see. 600 views, we all know. It's 36 subs, we all know. So, don't forget to like. Um. Like, subscribe. That's horrible. Obviously. Gotta like this video. Subscribe, you know. Yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video, if it's live stream or not, you know? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. We, we can have a merch fest. Yeah, let's go! Yay, merch oh, fest. I don't so know. So you need to turn around the camera. Wait. Wait. Merch fest! Let's go, hell? merch! Oh my gosh, yeah. What anyway. Yeah, merch for the win. The Hashtag hell? merch for the win. Um, yeah, comment that down below. Hashtag merch for the win. All right, yeah. No. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe no. my channel. Um, anyway, no. yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Leave a like. Subscribe my channel, of course. Like I said, and yeah, I'm gonna leave a like right now. So yeah, stay tuned. See you on the next video. Peace out. So I said I was having a blast in my life in seventh grade. Although I'd say anything but that now.
Yeah, no, I mean the pool party, that sort of stuff. That, I barely even remember. I, all I do remember is first off, weight gain from medicine. Second off, I tried to come, I was super depressed throughout the entire year. Third off, I actually tried to unalive myself. If, if luckily didn't, uh, the plan, the attempt luckily didn't work and was foiled by a teacher. I mean, thank goodness that teacher for saving my life. Like, holy crap. <laughs> but I got hospitalized for like three weeks. What else? Like a lot of people, I was constantly bullied in the beginning of the year as well. The end of the year, I kind of tapered off. I literally learned nothing. My brain completely stopped working. Like, I realized, like, especially in math, like, I couldn't learn algebra. Part of it could have been the medicine. I don't know. You know, there's just so many things horrible that happened this year that this year, seventh grade, I'd say is the worst year of my entire life now sometimes I might say 8th grade is the worst year I mean personally I don't think 8th grade was as bad as 7th but I mean I know there were periods where I thought 8th grade was worse than 7th although yeah no I 7th grade was an L year straight up yeah this this video I don't even know if I can go to college anymore I think I burned off so many brain cells that my brain now completely doesn't work at all and now I'm gonna probably fail all the next tests and drop out of college and not even be able to hold on to a job because most of my brain has been fried away just from this single video. Peace out.